Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. Again, this is Mrs. Schoonerman here for writing today. Today's writing topic is all about labeling a picture again and adding a detail sentence. And today it's about your favorite animal. I decided for my favorite animal, I'm going to wear a, a shirt with my favorite animal on it. And I brought my favorite animal in here with me to watch. Where is he? Hey, Vinny. Can you tell what my favorite animal is, everybody? It's a doggy. All right. So let's review today's targets before I show you what we're going to do with our writing. So our learning targets today are I can label the parts of my favorite animal and I can write a detail sentence using the writing process. Now remember the writing process, that's when first we always want to think about our picture. What are we going to draw? We always want to think about it first before we put our pencil on the paper. After we've thought about what we want to draw, then we we're ready to draw. When we're ready to write words, we should think about the words we want to put down on the paper first. And that's step number three in the writing process. We think about our story and we say it five times so that we remember what we want to write down. And the last thing is to write. So keep that in mind as we continue to write together today. All right, so let's see. We're gonna go over to my screen here. And we said that the first part of writing is to think about the picture. I asked you today to think about what your favorite animal is. My favorite animal is a doggy. So when I'm thinking about a doggy, I could look at a picture. I could look at, look at my doggy and I could see what are the different parts. Well, first thing I'm gonna draw, he has a head, so I should add his head. I'm using black because he is a black dog and he has one little white spot on him. So we'll add that in a moment. All right, Vinny, he has two ears and he has a nose and he has two eyes and his little white spot on his head is right here. I wanna make sure I put this little white spot on. He also has a body. So I'm gonna add the body. I'm gonna draw an oval for, shape for his body. And he has four legs. One, two, three, four. He also has one tail that loves to wag when he's very happy. I wanna add one extra detail. He loves his bone. So I'm gonna add his bone to, in his mouth. There, that's my favorite animal. Now remember, we add labels as good writers so that we can give information about our picture to our readers. So in case our readers wanna know more about the different parts of my dog, I'll add some labels. Sometimes we're not sure, we get to words that we are a little tricky and we don't know how to spell them. We could listen to what the beginning sound is and just write that down. We can use the strategy of tapping it out, stretching out the word, tapping out the sounds we hear, and then writing it down. So let's practice together. Here we go. The first part I'm going to label is his tail. So I'm gonna add a line and I'm gonna slowly say the word tail. 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 Okay, the first sound I heard was t. So t. A. A. O. L. Tail. Body. Body. B. A. D. Body. Okay. B. Ah, uh, D, body. Yeah, that sounds good to me. All right, next part, he's got legs. So we'll add a label to his legs. Legs, 
legs, legs, legs, legs, and he has a head. Ed. Head. And we should add a label for the bone in his mouth. That's his favorite thing. Bone. B. O. N. Bone. Okay. The picture is ready. It's labeled. My reader could tell what each part of my favorite animal is. And now it's time to write a sentence to match our picture. So the first thing I need to do is think about my sentence. What would make sense to write about this picture? Hmm. I know, I wanna write, my favorite animal is a dog. Okay, I'm gonna say it five times. Ready, here we go. My favorite animal is a dog. 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 Okay, I've said it five times. I remember what I want to say. All right, my, I'm gonna start my sentence with a capital letter. We always start the first word with a capital. So my, now we need to write favorite. That's a big word. So I'm just going to do my best using my letter sounds to stretch it out. And I'm going to just tap out what sounds I can hear. So favorite. A. V. Ooh, a B. A. V. R. It. Hmm, that sounds like a sight word. Favorite. The it part. My favorite. Okay, I've practiced it five times. I remember what my sentence is. The next word is animal. My favorite animal. I'm gonna leave his finger finger space. Here we go. A n i m animal. Oh, I hear an M. Animal. And it sounds like it ends with an L. Okay. My favorite animal is, oh, a sight word. I can write that in a snap. Is. My favorite animal is a, oh, that's an easy one. A dog. Dog is the last word. Okay, so dog. Oh, I can stretch this one and tap it out. Dog. Dog. D. -a -g. Dog. All right, starts with a D. D. A. G. Dog. Now, at the end of my sentence, I need to add a punctuation, piece of punctuation, which is going to be a period to say, I am done with this sentence. Let's read the sentence together. My favorite animal is a dog. That's right. Now, writers. Oh. I wonder if someone just heard me talking about my favorite animal. Hi, kitty. I also love my kitty cat too, that's Kita. All right, writers, it's your turn now. You are going to go get a piece of paper, get some, a pencil, get some crayons, and make a picture of what is your favorite animal. That is your challenge for the day. Vinny would love to see your work and see what your favorite animal is. Maybe it's a cow. Maybe your favorite animal is a buffalo. I don't know. Maybe your favorite animal is a woodpecker. I'm so curious to see. So when you're done with drawing your picture, adding labels, and writing one detailed sentence, have a grown-up take a picture and send it to your teacher. I hope you have a great day. Happy writing!